Let's go ahead and slide into some NBA action. This is our last slate of professional uh, or games for that matter. This is our last sport for the show. We did NHL college basketball and now we're going to finish up with the NBA. And we're going to begin with the Magic at the Sixers, 7 o'clock tip-off in Philadelphia. The Sixers are minus 6, total 222.5. Uh, uh, Joel Embiid and Boban Marjanovic are still out for the Sixers. Uh, Amir Johnson and Jimmy Butler are questionable for the Sixers as well. Uh, regardless though, uh, Philadelphia is 6-3 and three straight up in their last nine, 2-0 and oh against the number in their last couple of games. This Philly offense is scoring 119 points per contest on their home court. Uh, that ranks third in the NBA. They also rank second in home defensive rebounding. So once again, Philadelphia averaging 119 points per contest at home. Uh, that ranks third in the NBA in home offensive scoring on average. Uh, Philly's being led by Tobias Harris tonight, who's uh, averaging 22 points per contest. Tobias is also bringing down eight rebounds a game. Uh, right behind him is Jimmy Butler, who's dropping 19 points per contest. He's bringing down five boards a game as well. When it comes to this Orlando squad, having a tough time getting the job done on the road this year. They're 13 and 19 straight up when traveling. They also rank 28th in points scored on the road. They're averaging uh, just 104 points per contest uh, away from home. Now, total-wise, Orlando's 4-1 to the under in their last five, 19 and 13 to the under on the road. Philly 4-1 to the under in their last five. Give me the Sixers, minus six in the under, 222 and a half in that matchup there. Next game, Bulls, Pacers, 7 o'clock tip-off in Indiana. The Pacers open eight and a half, total 220. We're seeing movement toward the under. We're also seeing a, a slight fade of Indiana when it comes to the spread. Uh, the Pacers are now seven and a half, total 219. So once again, Indiana open eight and a half, down to minus seven and a half, total open 220, down to 219. 51% leaning toward Indiana, 52% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Bulls are plus 250 on the money line. Now, if you like the... Uh, Bulls in this matchup here, just a friendly reminder, Denzel Valentine is out for the season. They also have Hutchison and Carter still out indefinitely as well. Now, uh, on the Indiana side, Sabonis is out with an ankle, so we will not see Sabonis tonight. But regardless, the Pacers are 9-4 and four straight up in their last 13. They're covering 60% of their games in their last 10. The Pacers rank second in the NBA in offensive field goal percentage. They're shooting 48% in that category there. The Pacers also rank first in the NBA in home points allowed. They're giving up just 100 points per game on average on their home court. Now, uh, the Pacers are being led by uh, Bogdanovich, Bogey, who's uh, scoring 18 points per contest. And then right behind him is Miles Turner, who's averaging 13 points a game and eight rebounds. Now, uh, Chicago on their side of things, completely different story. They're just, uh, they've won just 11 out of 32 games straight up away from home. They're also covering just 42% of their games, taking on teams over 550. The Bulls rank 28th in points scored and 27th in road defensive rebounding. Now, when it comes to the total, Chicago's just 43% of the over taking on teams, allowing more than 102 points per contest. Indiana, well, they're just 11 and 22 to the over on their home court. 33% to the over in their games that tipped off at the current posted total. Give me Indiana minus seven after buying the half a point in the under 219 in that matchup there. Next game, Blazers, Grizzlies. Eight o'clock tip off in Memphis. Portland's minus five totals 216. Portland is 39 and 24 straight up overall for the year. They are second in the Northwest Division. Uh, they're being led by Damian Lillard, who's dropping 26 points per contest. Uh, CJ McCollum's right behind him at 21 points on average per game. Portland has won six out of their last seven, and they've scored 113 points or more in six out of those seven. Now, Memphis on their side of things, they're amongst the worst teams in offensive scoring. Uh, bottom five in that category, both overall and uh, at home. And when it comes to uh, the Grizzlies, they're just 25 and 40 straight up overall for the year, two and six straight up in their last eight. Now, scoring wise, we've seen a ton of unders for this Memphis squad this year, a uh, good amount of unders at home. So, with all that in mind, uh, not going to get too far into the analytics in this one. I'm going to leave Portland minus five in the under 216 in that matchup there. Next game, Rockets. Raptors, 8 o'clock tip-off in Toronto. 
The Raptors open four, total open 228. Uh, we're seeing money toward the under, excuse me, I must have a booger or something. Not a booger, but something in there itching my nose. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, Toronto open four, down to three and a half. Total open 228, down to 226 and a half. Uh, we're seeing movement toward the under. We're seeing money on Houston. Slight fate of Toronto when it comes to the spread. They're at three and a half, total 226 and a half. Once again, Toronto open minus four, down to minus three and a half, total open 228, down to 226 and a hook. Uh, Fred Van Vliet is on the injury report, uh, so we'll have to see what the status is on him for tonight. Uh, Toronto, regardless, nine and two straight up in their last 11. They're led by Kawhi Leonard, who's scoring 27 points per contest, eight rebounds a game. And then uh, Pascal Siakam's averaging 16 points per contest and seven boards a game as well for Toronto. Now on the Houston side of things, they've covered just 12 out of 32 on the road this year. They've, they're also covering just 45% of their games, taking on teams allowing more than 102 points per contest. When it comes to the scoring, Houston 75% to the over in their games at the current posted total. Toronto 5 and 2 to the over in their last 7. Give me the Raptors minus 3 after buying the hook. And the over, 226 and a half in that one. I took an over. Wow. Very bizarre. Uh, next game, Thunder, Timberwolves. 8 o'clock tip off in Minnesota. Minnesota open 1.5 up to minus 2. No line when it comes to the total. No total as of yet. No over under as of yet. So once again, Minnesota open minus 1.5 up to minus 2. Now, OKC has listed Paul George as out for tonight's action. And that could be a reason why we haven't seen a total yet. Uh, maybe the market's still trying to figure that one out. But once again, for OKC, Paul George listed as out for tonight's action. Uh, Paul Roberson's still out and definitely for the Thunder as well. Now, Minnesota's 6-3 and three against the number in their last nine, despite their current three-game skid. Uh, they're also 20-10 and 10 straight up on their home court. They're led by Carl Anthony Towns, who's... Scoring 24 points per contest. He's also bringing down 12 rebounds a game. And uh, Derrick Rose is right behind him with 18 points per contest on average as well. Now OKC, they failed to cover in their last seven straight. They have not covered a game in a very long time. They have not covered a point spread in a very long time. 0-7 ATS in their last seven. They rank 22nd in defensive rebounding. So uh, we don't have a total here, but I do like Minnesota minus two getting the job done against the spread. Hell, I'll predict a score here. I'll go Minnesota 117, OKC 111. Yeah, that's the score I'm going to predict. All right, next and final game for the show. It is going to be Boston at Golden State. 10.30 tip-off in the Bay Area. Golden State's minus nine, and once again, no line when it comes to the total in this one. No line on the over-under. So, uh, once again, Golden State minus nine. Now, the Warriors have Iguodala and Clay Thompson both questionable for tonight's action, and Looney's out. He's not playing, but regardless, Boston is just so bad right now, and uh, certainly not gelling. They're not meshing. No chemistry there. They're one and five straight up in their last six. They failed to cover in four out of their last five. The Celtics ranked 23rd in defensive rebounding. They also ranked 21st in road offensive field goal percentage, shooting just 44% from the field when traveling. Now, Golden State, they've been very good uh, at the Oracle Arena. Uh, they're 23-8 and eight straight up at home. Their offense is putting up 119 points per contest. That's first in the NBA. And when it comes to the, uh, to the leaders here, Steph Curry's dropping 28 points a contest. Uh, five rebounds a game. Kevin Durant, 28 points per contest as well. Seven rebounds a game. So uh, when that's all said and done, uh, I think Golden State's going to cover not by much because they, uh, they don't typically cover the spread all that well. But I think uh, everything's in line for them tonight. Give me Golden State minus nine. Uh, once again, no line on the total. But I'm going to predict a final score of 117 to 107. That's my prediction there. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, as I always do, uh, just got to take a quick time out and remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented record of 16, 8, and 1 in my last 25 basketball plays, you're certainly costing yourself some valuable information each and every day. You're not subscribed to that channel. Memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. That'll give you access to the daily best play. Uh, there's also plenty of free content there as well, including my current record uh, in many different categories. And also our daily poll where you can let me know who you think is going to win 
on a particular game. And that's what it's all about. It's all about teamwork, everybody working together. I'm not the end all be all. Uh, I have a nine to five. I don't do this for a living. I just, uh, you know, I do this because, uh, you know, I, I'm a broadcaster who isn't broadcasting. So you got to keep the edge sharp. Uh, I love sports. I love betting. Obviously, I'm a gambling addict, um, which I'm not proud of, but hey, I, I can't can't shake it. I'm a gambling addict, a compulsive gambler, and uh, it's very hard on my family. But anyway, uh, patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take you a couple of seconds. Link is in the description section below. And as always, if you're a current patient of mine and you're watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. Most importantly, thank you for watching today's program. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page.